Now we're sitting right here, uh, right off of Palm Beach in the, what I would call the showroom, the, what, how would you describe where we are, Prince, and, and the fact that people can come right in here and start getting processed. What, what is this beautiful place we're sitting in? This is the Sales and Information Center. Okay. And it's, this information center was provided by uh, FJ Services, FJ Services is Marketing, uh, Frankie and uh, Mr. Roy. Um, and um, basically we have a administrative specialist, which is Michelle, and um, they will come in, they will talk with her, fill out some paperwork, basic information, and then um, we'll, we'll talk to them and find out uh, what their criteria. Uh, people pretty, pretty much know what their credit score is. You know, hey, what's your credit score? I'm about a 570, 580. That's the kind of person I'm gonna say, let's go talk to Carolyn. Mm -hmm. Because you're right around the cusp, a hard pull may lower your score, and we don't wanna damage you, we wanna help you more than hurt you. And so when the units start to be built, being built, they're gonna be already squared away. Right, so right now is the time to start getting qualified for the unit and working your way to being qualified. I understand that there's gonna be mixed use, um, mixed income type in this beautiful development uh, using income and uh, uh, medium incomes and things of that nature. Uh, and there are gonna be some government subsidies and different types of grants to get the mortgage caught price of the house down and the closing costs and all of that. Talk about all of that, Carol. Okay, yes, thank you. We will. You're um, looking for people with certain income, 50, 52% and something like that, right? Um, what it is is that 51% of the uh, units at Tulsa Gardens must be set aside for low income uh, area, median income about uh, up to 80%. And those are primarily, those are the primary applicants that I would be working with. Um, in addition, some of them may come already credit ready, ready and mortgage ready, so they'll automatically go to prints. However, because of their income limits, whatever that 80% of the area median income is, they will still be eligible possibly for down payment assistance. And that's where we would explain to them what options may be available to them. Looking for a new home? Your dream home. Check out Toll's Garden Townhouse Community offering luxury living at an affordable price. Located in the Dunbar East Fort Myers area. Dine in a kitchen complete with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, wood flooring and other customizable options. Relax in a fun and inviting green play space, kid and pet friendly. Toll's Garden is truly a community for all seasons in sunny southwest Florida. Move into your dream home today. Call Toll's Garden Sales and Information Center at 239-332-0744. Give me a real world situation. Take a, for example, if a person's income is this, this is what could they could do okay. and they will qualify. Let's take your average family of four, two adults and uh, two children. Uh, the household income is approximately 50, 51000 a year, and they may be eligible for that down payment assistance. And uh, depending upon the lender's discretion, who they select as a lender, because we can't just direct them to a lender, uh, that would be called steering. Uh, so uh, we would have a list of a few lenders, uh, typically three or more, uh, that they can select for, or if they come already with a lender, uh, if they meet that lender's criteria for loan approval or pre-qualification, then we would just introduce the down payment assistance and have the applicant and the lender work together to secure the down payment. Right, but I know I've had shows where I've had people on here from Regions Bank and they have a great, you don't have to do any steering, I can do whatever I want to do on my TV show. <laughs> so they have a, a $4,000 grant that goes to a down payment and closing cost that you don't even have to pay back for people who meet those criteria or in that, that census track uh, to get on to home ownership. I know there are other organizations out there that you you know more about than I could ever imagine. And so people be able to tap into all those types of things that'll make them have, a, they could conceivably have a mortgage payment uh, less than $1,200 in some cases, right? That may happen. Mm -hmm. I just can't guarantee it. I know it. all that, but yeah. saying, right? Yes, exactly. The key and is to get in that conversation. Exactly, and to see if the lenders will layer uh, different or, or several 
a down payment assistance options that may be available to the applicant. And there's some government money that's associated that they can tap into as well. Are you into all of that too, uh, Prince? Yes, 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 we are. Um, one of the things that we would appreciate the city for is conveying the land. Because since they convey the land, that opened it up to veterans. Because veterans can, you, you can buy a trailer and put it on five acres. People don't know that mm -hmm. unless you take a veteran's class. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, as long as you own the land, you can put a trailer on it. It's not smart to do in Florida because of hurricanes. Mm -hmm. But when they convey the land with this particular project, it opened up the, uh, the area for veterans that need affordable housing. One thing is important to know, though, well, actually two. Um, the one thing is they're only be working with uh, our, our agency, which is My Canvas Incorporated Real Estate. And that's because um, we are keeping commissions low. And so um, we're not, we're doing, we, we're, we're doing referrals for outside agencies, like if they want to refer to it, us, but it's not going to be a, a, a thing where different realtors can say, hey, I'm bringing my buyer to you, what's my commission for so forth and so on, because we got, we got to keep the costs as low as possible to get the people so that you have, we want you to have a set low commission when they, they the realtors know that when they interface with you. Correct. Now let's say these realtors are watching us on television now. Yes. Some of these realtors, because my show goes into the entire seven county region, some of these realtors in Charlotte or whatever, they maybe want to move to Lee County. Are we trying to limit it to this is either one of you can take this question. Who or who is who can who can purchase that? Do they need to be living here in Lee County or what? Yes, part of the, part of the, part of the, there's two stipulations to, to, to this project. You have to live within the city limits. They want to repopulate Dunbar. There's been a mass exodus of people leaving Dunbar because of different reasons. They want to repopulate Dunbar, so you have to live within the city. That's number one, and number two. I am looking for agents. So if you're interested in working with us and being part of our team, um, makes no difference of your background, give me a call um, mm -hmm. and reach out to me and um, we'll see if you are uh, as passionate as me and Carolyn is. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, you can work with us, we, work, we'll, we will right. work with you. 